Hello, everybody. Welcome to another fantastic, fantastic, exciting episode of The Butter What Show. I'm Pat Regan. This here is my lovely assistant co-host, BrianCMoses.com. And assistant co-host. Assistant. Is that what I said? Assistant co-host. That's a... Does that make me a full host? Is that like two halves makes one? Well, you're something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I just shoot the rails off of the intro? Yeah, but that's okay. Today we're going to talk to you. Well, we've got a lot of things to talk to you about on the live stream. But on this particular episode, a couple of weeks ago, I stumbled across this really cool knob on Reddit, Brian. Have you ever seen a knob before? I'm scared of answering that question. (laughs) Yes, I've I've seen lots of knobs, Pat. Well, I've got a big knob about this size on my JC Pro macro pad. But all it does is, all it does, it's fantastic. It's on oh. a rotary encoder, so it just spins forever. And every time you turn it about it, you know, it does about 20 clicks in a circle. 10 or 20, I don't remember the number. It doesn't yeah. matter how many, but it goes click, 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 like a mouse wheel. But this is pretty fancy, Tubby. This is this looks really fancy. This has a little OLED screen in the center with you can put. I mean, I imagine you could eventually put whatever you want on there. I think he's using an ESP32 chip to control the whole thing, and it has a stepper motor built into the knob, so you could tell it. Well, you could tell it. I mean, I don't know how you set this up. It's magic. It's all test stuff, really. I guess. But if you want it to be a volume knob that goes, you know, from can rotate 90 degrees. When you rotate at 90 degrees, it'll know, and then the motor will kick in and keep you from... And it'll just stop. It'll just... So well, you I could think almost... you'd be able to overpower it, Tubby, but you yeah, could feel Yeah, but you'd the... have... You'd feel the end of it if there was... Yeah, that What's force, the right that, for that pressure would be pushing back on you. Or you can set it so there's it just spins freely, or you can set it yeah. so that you can have, like, Jeremy's macro pad has whatever it is, 10 or 20 clicks. You can set this so that it has three clicks, 10 clicks, 50 clicks. And every time it gives you, the motor is set up so that when you try to get away from a position, it tries to hold back. But then once you know you get over that hump, then it falls down the hill and clicks, catches on the next position. But it's all virtual. It's all magic and motors. And it seems really, it seems really interesting. I think it's pretty neat. And he's he's showing you exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, we should tell you who this is. This is a gentleman on Reddit called Scott Bez, B-E-Z. Scott Bez 1. And we'll put that, it'll be, I think, on this side of the screen when you're watching. But I would like to have one of these on my desk. I don't know exactly what I would control with it, but... As much as I like the the volume knob that the our Bose headphones on its little smart, on its little puck... I don't know yep. what you call it. And that's a rotary like, encoder. That just spins forever. You can just... Forever, yep. But if it was smarter, yeah, that would be that would be really neat. Yep. Especially like if we can tell you like, you're hitting 100% or... Yeah, just stop. This is... We can't get any louder. There's no 11, Brian. Sorry. Now, as far as I know, this thing is open source. He calls it a haptic input knob. And it's haptic because it gives you the feedback on the... Feedback the spinning and he's got a bill of materials all the par- all the parts you need are in the list here they're hard to a lot of it's hard to find it says here this wasn't here the last time i looked at the page the motor he uses this fancy stepper motor he uses no longer available so you'll have to well i don't know what you're source, gonna have to do source another one or yeah that's yeah or fit something else in there yeah we don't know but we'll find out but i'm a little bummed out because it's rather expensive I think he said it cost him almost $200 to build his. But he thinks you could probably do it for closer to $100. Yeah, that's pretty pricey. It's pricey, for just... but it's neat. And it's got a button, too, right? Yep, you... It's a, you can click it. You can push down on it like a, yep. like a button. I, mean, I think that makes sense. I, mean, I don't think it, $100 to $200 is too outrageous for the price. What would you do mm-hmm. with something like this? Well, you've probably seen one like your Nest thermostat is a knob yep. very much. Like that's that's what we should have started off with if we rewound five minutes and said this looks a lot like a Nest thermostat, except it's customizable and you can put it on your desk or your wall or wherever you want to put it. Volume makes a lot of sense to me. Temperature controls. 
And you can set it up probably so, you know, clicking on it would cycle from, you know, one different, setting Yeah, to hopefully another. it would be, you'd be able to do, yeah, different functions. But that's the thing, this doesn't do anything by itself, Tubby. This yeah. is a project with source code and it, you have to, you have to write stuff if you want to make this yeah. work. Oh, and on GitHub, he is also Scott Bez one So if you want to find him, you should check him out on GitHub. And I think he has a YouTube channel. Should we say anything else about this, Tubby? We should ask people what they would do with it. Oh, Tubby, that is smart. It's like I've been you watching ask Get everybody? Better. So what do you guys all think? What would you use a smart knob for? What kind of, uh, what kind of adventurous... You can adjust the pressure in in the tires uh, in, on Knight Rider. Click that it would up be hysterical. One piece at a time. Yeah, a flight sim, what would you do? That would be... Yeah, oh, I'm sure there's a Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, a Kerbal Space to, Program. To use this. Click it to stage and maybe your throttle up and down. I don't know, but... What would you do in TF2? Uh, aim, call for aim the your medic. Sentry. Medic, aim your sentry. Medic, 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 medic. 